everyone, um, today is going to be a video on how I make striper dreads. Now I, um, this tutorial is not something I invented, this is something by neonhair.de. Uh, so go and have a look at her dreads, she does really good dreads. Um, but yeah, this is just a, uh, a method she came up with and this is what I use and I think it's probably the best and most effective way. Okay, so you will need two sections of back combed hair. Hello doggy. Two sections of back comb hair. And um, again, half of what you would normally use. Um, back comb it lightly, you know, don't go nuts. And you may and you may want to make it a little bit longer than you normally would because the striping will take off a bit of length. Okay, so I'm just using two colours I got out of my spares box. Um, this will come out really chunky by the way, so just you know, yours won't look quite like this. Okay, so line them up on top of each other and you know, make sure they're about even. They're about the same length. Be warned that stripies do take a little bit of time, but they're well worth it in the end because they're quite visually striking. Okay, so you've got your two back comb sections of hair. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your first collar on using the maroon and you're going to tightly wrap this maroon around your second colour. Just a couple of twists, you know, you can make these as short or as long as you want. So you now have this bit of colour, this thread is wrapped with this one. And then you're going to switch. Like so. Try and make sure they they're Wrap the wraps are very close together and so that you don't get any kind of gaps showing from the colour underneath. And again, just keep switching. And when you get to sort of the last inch or two, you're just going to candy cane them together. So you're just going to twist them together. So you'll have a swirl at the bottom. This is what it should look like. So as you can see, the, the top part is um, the maroon stripe, and the middle is the sort of purple black, and then the end is the maroon again, and I don't know if you can quite see that, but the candy canes and stripe is at the bottom. So that's just a really quick and easy method on how to make stripy dress. Um, it does take a little bit of time, but I find that this, um, this method is quite secure. I've never had any problems with it. Um, yeah, I like it and it does make some very visually striking dreads. So um, that's it. If you have any questions, comments or requests, let me know and I'll do my best to get back to you and, you know, make a video.